Scarlett Johansson finally explained why her and Colin Jost's child is named Cosmo. This better be good because I'm not a fan of that name. Now, before I go into this subject, I'm not criticizing kids. The kid is innocent. This is just a thing. I, I, I've i thought about this with parents, especially celebrity parents or Brooklyn parents or Brentwood, California parents. You know, they all have to give their kids interesting names, but not interesting names that are like based in, in, in anything. It's just like something to be different, something to, to stand out. So let's find out first why they named their child Cosmo. I love the way BuzzFeed writes their articles. Now, it's totally possible that when you heard the name Cosmo, you said to yourself, huh, that's a unique name. What made them land on that one? Well, fear not, because Scarlett has finally revealed all. During an appearance on the Kelly Clarkson show, she spilled on how she and Colin landed on the name. We just threw a bunch of letters together, she joked before elaborating. No, but I just really thought it was so charming, and our friends all liked it. Well, of course, your friends are all rich and powerful. It sounds interesting. Cosmo. I don't like it only because, I mean, their kid, Cosmo, will probably be fine. But most Cosmos born in this century will not be fine. It's a name from I don't even know when. Cosmo? Is that the 30s? Is that That's like an old country name. Cosmo. That's like somebody's grandfather came over on the boat. His name was Cosmo. And this is the theory I have about Chet Hanks or Chet Hayes, the rapper and son of Tom Hanks. So we all know Chet. I've interviewed him before. Nice enough guy. Uh, but as you can see, he has gone in a completely different direction than Tom Hanks. He's tatted up. He was a rapper for a while. You know, he's still, he's always using a Jamaican accent. And the reason I think that this happened is because Tom's other kids didn't go this way. Colin and, and the, and the girls, the reason I think that Chet wound up going so hard in the opposite direction. Obviously, he's spoken about this, too. It's tough being Tom Hanks' kid, and, you know, you feel like you got to, like, prove yourself all the time. But also, because Tom, his real name is Chester. Tom decided to name his son Chester. Uh, his son, who was born in 1990. So, like, nobody... He's, what, 32? Nobody in his age group is named Chester. Nobody in this century is named Chester. Chester is a name from somebody who would be born in 1890. So you're going to name your kid Chester, and then he's also Tom Hanks' son, and everyone thinks he's just like a, a, a weak little rich kid. Of course he's going to have to rebel and go the complete opposite way that he went. Uh, again, nice guy. Seems to have gotten everything straightened out. But if you name your kid Chester or Cosmo, like Scarlett and Colin Jost did, or something like that, in this century, you're just asking for them to have it a little bit more difficult. Now, is it possible that Tom Hanks is some kind of sadist who wanted his kid to have a more difficult life because he knew how rich and privileged and how much easier Chet's life was going to be than his own growing up? Maybe Hollywood can be a sick place. However, I'm going to choose to think that neither he nor Rita are sick like that, even though people keep accusing... This is the weirdest conspiracy also. One day I'm going to do a show just on conspiracies, which is that Tom Hanks is somehow one of these major Hollywood pedophiles. And uh, I don't know if they've accused him of being with Epstein, but like he is all... He, he's like some kind of major abuser. I, I just... I don't see it. I can't believe that. It's just too crazy. And that's when people lose credibility. Like um, when when, you know... I don't want to say conspiracy theorists, but um, it it makes the whole people that are doing actual investigations into child trafficking or or, you know, rings like like the Epstein thing. When you start throwing Tom Hanks in there, it's just like, OK, this is bullshit. You're all crazy. But anyways, 
he is guilty of giving his son a name from 130 years ago. You know, Chester was Chester A. Arthur. That was a president from what, when, when was Chester A. Arthur around? Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. He was born in 1829. The 21st president of the United States, Chester A. Arthur. So just think twice. Again, not the kid's fault. Not blaming the kids. Just something for any expectant parents to think about. Dante Greco. Dante is a really smart guy. Ladies love Dante. Look at that hair. Look at that face. Dante Greco. Dante was me, yours truly. I'm going to come. 